guys. Um, we've had a great week this week in Virtual Music and Arts Conservatory. And this morning, I wanted to talk to you about how creative God is and how you can use your creativity. Now, God is super creative. All you have to do is just look outside your window and you'll see how creative he actually is. Flowers can come and go with each season. There are more birds, especially in Florida, than you could ever count palm trees that stay green all year. And in all honesty, think about how creative you have to be to create a jellyfish or an alligator or, I don't know, a Tyrannosaurus Rex or anything. God and God created us in his image. And when he did, he shared his capacity for creativity with us. And I'll say that one more time. Look at how creative God is. And he created us, all of us, all shades, all colors in his image. The truth is, it's impossible to lack creativity when you're talking to God, when you're praising God and sharing the gifts that he's given to you with him, like playing your horn, like dancing, like theater, like singing. Ephesians 2.10 says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now, some people usually read that verse and you think of good works as ways as we can physically help each other, which is true, that is true. But it's important to remember that in the beginning, when God created the world, he looked around and decided it was good. Creativity can minister to a person's spirit just the same way doing something nice for them can. But God didn't just give us the ability to create he created us on purpose to do something with our gifts, all right? It's our job to use the gifts that God has given us and figure out how to use them to glorify God, whatever that gift may be. Now, this week, we're learning more about music and arts and things, but whatever that gift is, you need to use it for the glory of God. Some people might be shy or insecure about using their gifts, but God wouldn't have inspired you to use that creativity if he didn't mean it if he didn't mean for you to use it, trust me. He wouldn't have gave it to you if he didn't want you to use it for his glory. Now, Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Like you're doing it all for God, not for people. That's something my, mo my mother reminds me all the time. Anytime I talk to her, she says, Hey, son, do it for the Lord, right? And so everything that you do, you should be doing it for the Lord. Now, the Lord has given, has a purpose for you, for the gifts he's given to you. And he wouldn't be so clear about your creativity and purpose if you were meant to hide them away and not try your best. Whatever gift God has placed in your heart, whatever inspires you creatively, don't be afraid to share it with others. But also remember that you're supposed to work at it with all your heart because you're doing it for the Lord. We want to give him our best. Now, our scripture for this week says, my dear friends, stand firm and don't be shaken. Always keep busy working for the Lord. You know that everything you do for him is worthwhile. So please, this week and forevermore, give all of your gifts back to the Lord and he will continue to bless you. Embrace your creativity and celebrate God through music, through dancing and through worship. See you guys later. People of God, be encouraged. In spite of what you're going through, this is an opportunity for us to send a little hope your way. No matter what it is, the struggle, no matter what's happening, you be encouraged. Let's do it. Here we go. Woo!
Lord of all lords. Hey. King of all kings and Lord of all lords. We bow down. We, we bow down. Hey. Y'all say it. Lord 